Previously on Drake Paragon. A lot of things going on today. We need to get out of here. Oh, this huge thing off the list if we can get propane. Can you fill this tank? No, no. Wait, wait. This might work. Connect it to this tank and then to our tank. No. 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 Looks like we're in the right place. Coming to Greenland. Be prepared. Is that one empty? Yeah. So we want to get all of the used oil out of the bottom of the engine oil pan. Yeah. And... So what do we do now? Because it's sputtering. It's sputtering, but it's still getting some oil out of the bottom of the pan. It's just like, it doesn't all just come out, you know, all at once. Sometimes you gotta wait and let it keep going and pumping and as long as it continues to squirt out oil. So then it looks like we've got less than two gallons, eh? There's a little bit more oil that's contained in the filter itself right here. So the filter is by your dinette seat? The filter, oh, the, the filters are kept by my dinette seat. Yeah, the clean ones. Yeah. You know, I will just save you a little bit of trouble and make this a little bit more fun by telling you that oh. I have a brand new oil filter in that locker over oh, there. Oh, that is fun. So, <laughs> so you don't have to go ripping apart the dinette to get to Maybe the locker. you know how to have fun. Those are... Fuel filters. Yes. <laughs> I, I think the oil filters you are... Tell me if I have like a little poochy like muffin top sticking out. That hey is... baby, you got a little poochy muffin top sticking out. <laughs> I think it's uh, on the forward end of the locker somewhere. It's black. I see. So now you want to get an oil filter wrench. It's in the toolbox. Oh. Hey, very good. This part gets a little messier. You'll want the funnel. Okay. Get the blue funnel. Get one of the jugs that doesn't have too much dirty oil in okay. it. Get a rag. Get the filter wrench. Get the filter and come on over here. I'm going to put some gloves on for this part. That's probably a good idea. What are your glasses? Are you out of the way? I'm out of the way. Why do you they got you drunk, didn't they? <laughs> Did they ask you to sail with them? Did they? No, what are you talking about? Are you about? sure? No. No, I'm not joining their crew. Oh, I see you got a nice t-shirt there. Oh, so <laughs> oh Jesus. Uh-huh. No, no, no. Already you, wearing no, no. the uniform, huh? <laughs> I just said I'd have them for the Friends Christian sign. That's nothing, oh. don't worry. I don't think any of this. Look, don't they, worry about it. They it's put it's one fun. of the it's uniforms on them already. It's not a little toasty. A little bit. A little bit. I Were they all aboard? or? Uh, they were. I, I just dropped over and then uh, I asked him about his propane situation. And I said, okay. Let me tell you. What, yeah. This is what happened with those. Do they have did. water? They do have water. I also found out where the water was. Oh, cool. wonderful. What's the deal? Yeah, I did a reconnaissance. Basically, we just have to like row across over to there and then go up the hill and get water. Yeah, that's what they were saying. I was hoping it's to avoid having to do like 50 trips. I don't mean to far. interrupt this. Because it's really easy to go up the steps in here, but yeah. But our, our oil is cooling. That's right. That's right. <coughs> All right. <laughs> Oil's hot. Come on, let's go. Go, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, um, oh, let me go first because I should go into the engine room.
crate. Give me the camera. <laughs> okay, so there we go. All right, now uh, get the oil filter wrench and take off that filter. You need to hold the top part with one hand as you turn the filter with the hold other. This? Yes. Is it getting looser? Mm -hmm. Okay. So once you don't need the wrench anymore, you can screw the rest off by hand. And that thing is full of hot oil. You may want to get the rag and put it underneath the thing that the filter attaches to so that oil doesn't drip onto the batteries and catch fire. Okay. Great. Full of oil, yeah? Now pour it in. Uh, yes. Now what do I do with that? Throw it away. Ah, oil, it's a coming for you. Ah, oil. <laughs> Who knew we were so, like, musical? There's a gasket on that filter. Uh -huh. Do you see it? The black rubber gasket. Do I? Can you? Yeah, do I need to, like, rub oil on can it or you, something? Can you show it to me? Right there. Now, there was Ooh, a black... Rust. Yeah. There was a black rubber gasket on the other filter, and you need to make sure that it went into the trash with the filter. You couldn't have told me this before I threw it away? Well, you know, I told you I wasn't going to make it easy on you. You can check to see if the gasket is in the thing that you screw it onto. It look at the other thing before I threw it away. And probably just feel for it with your finger. I don't see it. Feel for it with your finger. Do you feel it? No, I don't see anything. Okay. Alright, next step, yes, you want to lubricate that gasket. So take the gasket off the filter. Okay. Yeah? No, um... Lubricate it with what? Oil. Put oil on it. Old oil? Sure. Yeah, it, it doesn't really matter that it's old oil. Okay. How much? Um, just enough to get it wet on both sides. This is like... Carcinogenic finger painting. <laughs> I never thought about it that way. Finger painting, sponsored by Exxon. Okay. All right, put it back on there. Now screw the filter back on. Righty tidy, opposite of what you just did to unloosen it. Did you press the gasket down into the filter? Is it seat really seated in there? Okay. Press the filter into the basket. Got it. Okay, now put it on there. Okay. Get it on Finger there. Tight. Get it on there really, like, hand tight. Okay. Now put a quarter turn on it with the wrench. Okay, good. We're done there. You can't get right in the center. Okay, that's okay. Okay, um, can I hand this to you? Donk. What are you going to do when you have to do this all by yourself and I am not here to... Because you're dead? Yes. Or oh. I'm, I'm, I've been... I broke my arm or something and I'm down. Oh, and well, then you have your other arm. Now what? Uh, now try to get more oil out of the pan. Ships passing in the night. Okay. Okay, we're getting a lot more out now. So I guess we need two more one gallon containers. And since you have never gotten a gallon I container. I know where it is, yes I have. Where are they? They're in the belt shop by the head. And do you feel like grabbing two one? It's not Drake, I was too busy getting the oil containers. <laughs> so where does the oil go in? The oil goes in right there, that cap right Can there. Can I open it? Yes, you can. It is hot, but you can take it off of there. 
press it down, turn it's it counter. It's not going to like explode into no, my face. No, no. Just double check these. Thank you, thank I'll go back you. to cooking. There you go, Mo. So there's one container. One container. Just check them before because I haven't, I Ooh. had a little look and I think they're okay. Ooh, but containers. You know me. You know what? I think we actually need a third. We need a third one? I don't think so. We need two and a half gallons of oil in there. Yeah, this is full, this is full, this is full. Alright, so fill it up. Yes. Please. Without spilling it. Be careful. I'm gonna whack you upside the head. <laughs> what happens if you put gas in there? Uh, I think that'd probably be bad, but I don't know how bad, but I think gas especially would be I mean, worse like, than... Okay, diesel, sorry. I don't think it'd be good. I would mean, it be disastrous? I'm, I think it would be if you ran it. If you ran the engine with diesel instead of oil, yeah, definitely. It does, you have to flush it out a lot. Diesel too, wouldn't right? provide the lubrication that the engine needs, and, and the engine would just, like, fry itself. So it's two and a half, right? Two and so a half. I don't have to worry about pouring this one in. Right. So then a half a gallon? Yes. Oh look at you and you big bad self. Were you measuring out exactly half of the thing? Mm -hmm. I never thought of that. It will just make it easier. I am privately embarrassed. Why? Because that actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, two quarts. Can I just... No, no, no. We need we to, run, to run it. We have to run it first because we need to pump the oil from the oil pan through the engine and through the filter here. Do we just turn on the engine to do that or do we need to like turn yeah. on some sort no, of No, we just turn on the engine. Okay, do you want me to undo the clips in the pump? Yes. Put it in the closed position. Oh, okay. And now remove the wires. It doesn't matter if they touch now, it does it? No, it doesn't They're matter. Not attached any sort of... But you want to make sure that that thing is wrapped well enough so that when we get into a storm, it doesn't come loose. Okay. Alrighty. How's your oil pressure look? Just below 40. Increase the throttle just a little bit. And temperature? Temperature is just below 140. Below 140? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we'll let it all run for uh, just a couple of minutes. Is that every 10 minutes? A couple of minutes. So now you wait a couple more minutes. I am. Okay. Stick it all the way in there. Press down. It's like it feels like it's all the way down and then it's not. And then without flipping it up, try to figure out if the oil is uh so There's no oil in there. <laughs> Okay. I believe I see it right there. Yeah. Where is that in relation to the tick marks? It's like right at the top one. Okay, great. That sounds wonderful. I think. Okay. So that's the last step and you're all done. No, I'm not. I have to put the stuff away because the job is not done if you leave all your crap everywhere. <laughs> What's going on? 
Did you find water not across the... Yeah, I don't have to go rowing. Well, that's fantastic. It, it couldn't be closer. We'll have to chug it, but... So it's in the Royal Arctic Building right here. It's in the Royal Arctic Building. That's and amazing. And I talked to the guys in this ship, and they were the ones who told me. It's just who you run into and at what time. I'm going to get some water. Okay. I'm going to get rid of the used oil. Where's the closest oil dump? There's one around the corner. There. Oh, there's one right here. <laughs> <laughs> we're set up here, huh? Good Love morning. That. Morning, sunshine. <laughs> Are we leaving tomorrow? Um, I don't know. I don't know. We're, I think about a number ready to go. We're still far from ready to go. I need to get the used oil containers up here. I'm going to hand them up to you. Good man. <laughs> Would you come on? So I'm just getting ready to go up to the Siemens house to go do laundry. They have uh, two really big kind of industrial washers there. One is big and one is like insanely big. So I did some laundry yesterday and I'm gathering everything up and I'm going to head up there. The really big one takes like two hours and 20 minutes to wash. It's kind of insane, but you can just stuff the crap out of it. So uh, it's raining. Good day to go do laundry. Grizzly, foggy, cold, wet morning. And we've got some icebergs that are entering the harbor. I don't know if this is gonna be a big problem for anybody in the harbor, but as you can see, it's a fairly large piece of ice. Maybe only one quarter of it is showing above the water. And by the looks of it, it's probably gonna hit those rocks on shore, but in a worst case, It'll work its way into the harbor, cause some havoc for some of the boats here. We are docked right in front of that big red boat. It's Paragon right there. I'm pretty happy this morning because we just figured out that we can get water from a sink faucet inside of the Royal Arctic building right down through that door. Hey, how's that for timing? Here comes Aina with 10 gallons of water from the sink. How'd the first run go? <laughs> so we've only got about 12 trips to go. 11 more trips to go, our estimate. Come on, hand them. Oh, you got it? I got it. There you go. This is a lot better than the last option we were looking at. We thought we were gonna to have to launch the rowing dinghy and go all the way over on the other side of the harbor to a place where there's one of those blue houses that give you fresh water. That would have been probably, God, you know, 10 or 12 trips in the rowing dinghy. So this is far more convenient being able to just go over there. <laughs> so this morning you were about to launch the rowing dinghy and, and I bet your brain was thinking, is there anything else? There is a red hut at the corner of the pier right over there. I don't know if you can see it behind the big yellow beam there. That red hut does have a fresh water faucet and hose, but the hose is maybe three inches in diameter. It's like the kind of hose you would use on a fire truck for putting out fires. So we were thinking about using that one, but somebody else told us that it wasn't potable, that they came by and turned it on and the water that came out was yellow. They also said they ran it for many, many minutes and the yellowness didn't clear out. So we'll just do the jug filling again. Paragon's getting watered. So anyone who's going to wash their hands now in there must think, why is there like a vodka bottle attached to a rubber hose? Oh no, did you leave it in there? I left it there, yeah, just because I told the guys, I'll just be back in a minute there. Uh, I'll pull you closer. 
there's a 12 foot tidal range here so sometimes in calm conditions we can leave enough line out so that they don't get too taut at low tide but then at higher tide the boat swings a bit had a couple of problems with the bowsprit just hitting the dock here at times but We've been here for a week now. It's been pretty doable. We're preparing to push off as soon as we can, actually. We're far behind schedule now. Maybe we'll be underway tomorrow or the day after, weather depending. Also, the to-do list depending. Get rid of our used oil, which is pretty convenient. There's a container right there where we can dump our used oil. We've seen dozens of these things all around the harbor, and you can empty your used engine oil in them as I'm doing right now. So I think these things are probably designed so that you can put your used oil in them and when they're full they get lifted by a crane and put on a ship and sent back to Denmark where they dispose of it properly. I don't think there's anywhere around here where they can do that. In hand, I'll pull it closer. Hold on. All right, there you go. Watch out for the big puddle. Geez, that laundry bag must weigh a ton. So walking up to, uh, got a little laundry. This is really heavy. <laughs> Gotta go up this hill, of course, to the seaman's house. So I'm gonna film once I get there because it's raining. There's the Siemens home. So it's kind of in the back room. You go down these stairs. I'm down below here in the laundry room in the Siemens house, and it's this kind of Silence of the Lambs ish type of. <laughs> hallway where you go down. Uh, got it down there, the ceiling's very low. They have one washer that is like uh, an industrial washer and then they have one washer that is actually a huge industrial washer and it's for very like soiled clothing. Everything is in Danish. So uh, it, it took a moment to kind of figure things out. They have this right here, which is, show you. It's like a cylinder with an opening in the top and spins your clothes after you take them out of the washing machine at very high speed and takes any excess water out of them so that when you put it into the dryer they actually dry much faster. Uh, it's pretty cool. I stood behind the, the pole over there the first time I started it because the whole thing kind of shakes. I'm not sure how full you're supposed to do it, so I do it mostly full. And then you can see a little handprint. So you push it down, locks it, and then over here, the start button, and you hit that. And the whole thing starts. It's been going for just a little bit, so hit stop, kind of shakes a little bit as it's stopping and then when it's fully stopped this will start flashing, you press that and pops up. The difference in the clothing is pretty remarkable. I'll take the clothes out of here, I'll put them into the dryer and, uh, and get those dry and I'm going to put another load of laundry in here. Isaac to the rescue. Oh, is, this, is this the right one? Is the question? No, actually. It doesn't look like the right one. It doesn't does look it? like it goes on there. This is the right one? Yeah. 
Mickey in the cup, but I get them it costs a cup. Sir, they can finish up. They're so helpful. Everybody's so helpful here. Absolutely. I've been at this for like three, this is three hours now. I've been like going back and forth getting water. And they're like, why don't you use the hose? And I'm like, what hose? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hello. This is great. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is great. It's a lot easier. <laughs> I'll have smaller muscles, but it's okay. You should be here on Tuesday. On Tuesday? Yeah. Why? Because there's a mission of the target game. Here? Yeah. Wow. Did you the first from the East Greenland? From East Greenland, wow! And uh, the other is from North. We could watch a soccer game. Yeah. Do you have to buy tickets no. to go? Maybe 10 kronos for a seat. 10 yeah. kronos for a seat, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds great. A soccer game in Greenland. Awesome. <laughs> You're going to be in the game. You play. We'd love to see it. Yeah, yes. Yes. Oh, wow, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I think that'd be wonderful. Thank you. Thanks, man. Awesome. Oh, we got water. I knew that you were going to have to row the dinghy all the way across the so harbor. This morning when I got up, I was told by one of the other cruising boats to uh, to get the dinghy, and to row over to there, to walk up the hill, there's a, there's a water house there, get the water, come back, bring it to the dinghy. And I was like, no, there must be water in here. <laughs> so uh, I went in and was like, yeah, go in there, go in there. And then you're like, oh no, there's a hose. So it's gotten better and better. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a great day. You got the schedule for the football game. Yeah, I did. Awesome. So he's uh, he's playing at five. They start at one. Yeah. And um, so we can we can go whenever, but we know that he's playing at five now. So. Wow. That is great. So is it just one game they play, or it's a tournament? So then it goes on. Huh. It goes on until the twenty-first of August. So the finals are on the twenty-first. You should, uh, Mo's got my credit card, so if we get fuel, I gotta go get the card back from her. We might leave it for tomorrow. Play one more game of chess? You want to. <laughs> you are insisting. <laughs> you want to do it again? <laughs> 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 Next, on Drake Paragon.